hi lovely people welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you how you can create a website a free e-commerce website using google sites and the payment gateway so if you have products you want to sell but you don't have money to pay a website developer to develop a proper e-commerce website for you i'm going to show you a free version or a free way which you can also use to sell your products so without wasting time why don't we dive into the video so i have a website here a dog shop website here and basically the intention of this website is to sell um dog or pet foods so if you scroll through you can see i have some images of um, dogs in here some nice photos and if you scroll down you can this way you come to the shop where you can see some items that i have placed in here i just picked these images off of the internet just for demonstration purposes um, if you want to learn how to build free websites, the, I have a video in the link up here which shows you how you can actually build um, free websites using Google Sites. You can check out that video up here. Now going back to the video, so as you can see we have some products in here. Now when a user clicks on buy, it takes them actually to a page where they can pay for the item that they clicked on. So. I require them to enter their first name, last name, email address, phone number, and then enter the amount in here. And then they can just pay. And they can pay through any of these mediums you see down here, which is pretty cool. Now, going back to the websites, if you scroll, you can also have a shop page. So, again, if you want to check out how to do, um, I mean, design such for your websites using Google Sites, please check out the video up here. Now, when it comes to the shop, you can see I have some items also listed in here. Now, in here to anybody at all can also click on buy and they can just go ahead and pay for the item in here. And once I get the confirmation, um, if you have to ship it to them, you can do that. You can also take more information, maybe their shipping address so that you can also ship to them um, if you have to do it that way. So the first thing I would like to show you is how I added these um, names in here, added the pricing and then added this button. So for demonstration purposes, let me just show you how I did this. If you go to the right hand side here, you can see we have content, some content blocks in here. So let's go ahead and pick this one and just drag it in here. So in here we can add an image here and then go ahead and add information about the product and then the price and then we also want to add a button in here so let me just show you how to do this so click on the image let's go to select image um, so we are going to attach an image to this um, an, an image of our product so let's go to google and search for um, dog food just search for something like this so let's pick this one and set insert it in here so i don't want to be too elaborate on the name so let's add a name here call it food one add the price say we're selling it for 400 cities now we need to add a button in here if you want to enlarge the image you can just drag and just enlarge the image to how you want it now let's go to the right hand side and add a button so this is the button we want to add let's click on the button the name we want to give this button is buy so this is where we are going to put the link that which will take um users or buyers to where they can or the, to the payment page so this is where you're going to put the link. So for now, let's just put any link in here. We'll come back to it and put the right link in here. So for now, I'm just putting in www.google.com. Just insert. Now let's click and drag and bring it beside the product. Perfect. So as many products as you have, you can just go ahead and add them. So let's do it for this one as well. Let's select an image. It will take us to a place where we can add any image let's type in dog food again again if you have these images on your desktop you can just go to 
um, where the where your images are located and just add them so let's pick this and insert this one as well let's type in food 2 let's put in the price and we can come here just click on this and button and duplicate it and just drag it and place it in here so now as you can see we have two products listed with um, their name you can put the name and description here the price and then the buy so once this is done on our Google site, we are now ready to go ahead and get the link so that we can put it in here for buyers to be able to buy. So now for our buyers to be able to use the buy link to, to pay for the goods on our website, we need to create a link to a payment page. Now the payment gateway that I'll be using is Paystack. So if you don't already have, if you don't have a Paystack account, you can go ahead and quickly create an account. It's very, very easy to do. If you head over to their page, you can see um, if you click on create account, it brings you to a page, this page where you can easily enter your name, your business name, and whether it's a started business or it's a registered business, whether you're a software developer or not, you can enter all those details in here and they'll send you a confirmation email which you use to activate your account. So once we are on the on our dashboard here, what we need to do is create a payment page. So go to payment pages in here. So as you can see, I've already created two payment pages, but for, to, for this tutorial, I just want to take you through how to create a payment page. So head over to new page here and you have three options. It's either you create a one-time payment, a subscription payment or a product payment. So for this tutorial, we'll go for one-time payment. So create a simple page for customers to pay you. That is basically what it does. So when we choose that option, it will open up a window for us and we would have to enter the page name, the description of the page. If you want to add an image to this page, we can do that. It says this image will show when the page is shared on social media and they show you the recommended size and it should be under one megabyte. So you can actually add an image for SEO purposes. Now, if you want to, if you, the product you are selling is just one product where it's a fixed price you can select this option if you want to collect the phone numbers of your customers you can do that if you want to take more um, information from your customers you can also do that in here by entering all these details the success message the notification uh, um, where, where your notifications will be sent to when there's a transaction you can also add other fields if you want to collect extra information so you can enter email address the shipping address so that you can ship the item to their um, specific location or where they want to pick up the item so you can fill all that details in here and when you are done with everything just go ahead and click create i've already created one already so i don't need to create it again so let's just close this now we need a link to this payment page, which we are going to add to our, our buy button on our Google site. So to get the link, just click on the, the page. And as you can see here, these are the details I filled it in with. So we can copy the link. So you can go here, visit link or copy link. So let's just click on copy link and let's head back to our google site so now th now that the link is copied all we need to do is just click on the buy button click on edit and we are going to enter or input the payment page link in here and do that for all the buy buttons we have on our website so just replace that just update so once that is done let's go ahead and click on publish so our website is done we've entered added the link to our buy button just go ahead and click on publish again and let's see if we can get a preview and see if what we did is actually working so so this is our website now this is a preview let's click on buy and as you can see the buy is taking us to the payment page where we can enter 
or user can enter their details and be able to make payments either through visa mastercard mobile money apple pay and the other options so our website is working so yeah that's how you easily create an e-commerce store and have your buyers pay using by just using google sites and a payment gateway if you have any questions about this um, or any other troubles that you want any clarifications on you can let me know in the description below in the comment section i'll be very happy to answer all your questions so this is a very easy way to create a google um, sites or a free e-commerce website using google sites and a free payment gateway if you have any questions you can leave them in the comment section and i'll be very happy to help Thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you in the next video.